we started talking about arthroscopic surgery, and that's overwhelmingly, besides uh, shoulder replacement surgery, which I want to then go into, um, and that would be a good segue to, to, the, to, to bring George in. Um, almost all the surgeries uh, that are not shoulder replacements today are done arthroscopically. And, so, and I want to say that's where I said laparoscopically, and right. that's in your abdomen, right? Yeah, that would be going through your belly button so into your shoulder. That hasn't heard, been done yet. heard of those, but that's the little <laughs> tiny incision. Right, a series of three, sometimes four very small incisions, about a quarter inch long, uh, uh, often some don't even need sutures. Often they just get one little tiny suture. Um, but um, through sp very specific parts around your shoulder, we can get access to the parts that give us disease. Uh, we talked a little bit about bone spurs. Yes. A bone spur, kind of like a stalactite and stalagmites, they stick down and they may stick up from uh, different uh, sh normal parts of the bony shoulder, and they can cut down into some of the tissues that God gave us that move our shoulder around. Um, so as in every joint, muscle comes from bone, then turns into a tendon, and the tendon attaches to the bone that has to move. Kind of like a motor turns into an axle, which turns into a wheel. Absolutely. And uh, the motor is our muscle, the tendon is our axle, and the joint is the wheel that we have to turn. Um, we're not talking about muscle pathology. What we're talking about is axle pathology. When he was talking a little bit earlier about the worn out shoulder joint, when uh, the cartilage was worn out, that's wheel pathology. W uh, pathology. Not real, but wheel. Um, when you have a torn axle or a torn tendon, um, we deal with that almost exclusively arthroscopically in a modern operating room today.